Oh my gosh, I love when I do braids and I have one piece. One stubborn rebel that just like sticks out to the side. Can I like poke them in? No, it didn't. I got excited there for a second. Hello everyone, what's up? I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Today we're sitting down and I wanted to just kind of, like honestly, I just wanted to use some products that I have been loving. In the process of testing out a whole bunch of makeup, I have found products that just work super well for me. I do not want to stop using them. And when I'm not filming, these right here in front of me are the products I consistently reach for. They are incredible. There's a really angry chipmunk outside. I'm gonna have to close the window. I've had enough of you. Speaking of products that are great, today's video is sponsored by Clarins. I'm so excited I get to work with them again. As you guys know, I have a lot of love for a lot of their different products from their SOS primers to their firming masks, their cleansers, a whole bunch of different things and I have used them for years. And today I'm super excited because I get to show a little bit of extra love for their cleansers because as you guys know, I'm about halfway through my pregnancy right now and my skin. She's been a little bit extra sensitive right now. But there are two cleansers in particular that I wanted to share with you guys today because they have worked so incredibly well for me and really kept my skin looking its best. One of them is the Gentle Foam Cleanser. This is with Shea Butter. It is for dry or sensitive skin. I use this one at night, especially on nights when I have a lot of makeup on my skin, which I filmed last night because clearly I have no makeup to take off right now. And this cleanser was made for anyone who has dry skin, who has sensitive skin, who gets like a strong reaction from products. I don't get anything from this product except really nice clean skin and not in the like parched way. I can still hear the chipmunks outside. My skin doesn't feel parched afterwards. It doesn't feel super dry. It doesn't feel like I have to immediately find my moisturizer. Otherwise my skin is gonna turn into the Sahara Desert. It just feels soothed. It feels clean. It doesn't feel greasy in any way. So this one has been fantastic for my skin. Another one that I like it's like more for like the lighter makeup days when I want like a like a one-step fixes all kind of system that I don't have to rinse off it is the water comfort one-step cleanser this has peach essential water and it. it's for for like normal to dry skin and these are just two that I really love that I continually reach for but they have 15 15 different cleansers toners makeup removers all geared to different skin types you can pick one that really works well for you and also also check out the link below type in the coupon code rachel10 and then you get 10 percent off if you find any cleansers makeup removers toners maybe you need to stock up 10 percent off free shipping link down below if you buy anything let me know and without further ado let's dive into the makeups so let's start with the brows and i am back on the soap brow drain everyone yep try and stop me i just wet a little spoolie brush and i've been using this is the loxitan one which i'm pretty sure i bought this because desi and katie were using it i'm sure like any like clear soap like this would work and then with the wet spoolie this isn't wet enough I just brush my brows up because i have fairly like thick brows i guess and this just helps them to like stick together a little bit more it gives more of like a feathered effect and i have been in love with it it looks a little crazy right now give it a minute though still have to put in some pencil anyone else have a favorite brow this is by far my favorite brow it is it is always looking its best never doubt i never doubt it now for eye pencil i've been really loving the arch brow micro sculpting pencil this is from hourglass i'm using warm brunette it's almost like a thin oval shape and I just, I just really like it. And I'm just going to fill in just where I need to. Because if I start like filling in all over, then I'm just going to get a fully penciled in brow, which is not the look I'm going for. There's like a little spot under here that needs a little, just a little TLC. And then maybe back here a bit. And then I always press them down at just the base to kind of keep them... <laughs> intact keep them looking the best for eyes i've been kind of flip-flopping between this is the nars uh lid primer and the the this is sorry smashbox did i say nars i like the nars and the smashbox ones and the eyeshadow palettes that i've been really living in two of them that are a little bit more new i guess would be the sweet talk palette from ColourPop, the natasha denona sunrise palette and then the opposites attract palette from elf these three have basically been my go-tos. Unless I'm going super dramatic or over the top and want something that's a little out there or I have a specific vision for a look, these are kind of the ones that I go to the most and I just find them to 
work really well together and the eyeshadows blend well and they're just easy to apply. All right, we did like a little purple, little purple thing today with the eyes, kinda like it. And I used a mixture of Feel Free from the ColourPop palette and then Clove and Glory from the Natasha Denona palette. Everything else is just neutral browns kind of thrown across the board. For liner, I've been really enjoying using the High Pigment Longwear Liner from NARS on the tight line. Actually, I need to, it's very stumpy right now. This is Mambo, but I'm using a bunch of the different brown shades and like I'm barely, barely touching and it just is so pigmented sound pigmented but it takes like zero effort to apply it and that's what i really like about it it stays put it's creamy you can tell by the fact that it's super stumpy that's how much i use it and mascara i i was looking i was looking through some of the new ones that i've been trying and then some of the old ones that i've been loving and my favorite combination still to this day is the YSL The Shock and the Mile High Club from Wonder Beauty. These two together, like I've tried other ones with the Wonder Beauty one, I've mixed them up, I've used a different lengthening mascara, and some of them are good, some of them are bad, but these two together just work so well in my personal opinion, and they don't, you know, end up underneath the eyes, they don't have like raccoon eyes by the end of the day, and I still get that drama. I feel like I've been using this mascara since like 2016, not this exact bottle. So I'll usually do two coats of the YSL one, and then I'll go in and I'll put the Wander Beauty one right on top, mostly towards the, the tips of the lashes, and then I'll only use the Wander Beauty one on the lower lashes. I'm gonna leave the under eye mascara until I'm done all my concealer and everything first though, because otherwise I'm just gonna end up with a, a lovely gray mess under my eyes. Wet mascara and wet concealer, do not go well together. So moving on to the face, the Colorfax Gripping Primer. This is a very sticky, very tacky formula when you put it all over your face and it just, it keeps everything there. That's the purpose of it. It grips the makeup to your face. So I'll just take a little dollop and I will put it on, focusing on the areas where my foundation tends to either slip or crease. I'll even put a little bit like underneath the eyes. And this one's like definitely the one I like the most for like a full coverage makeup day where I'm having like stuff slathered all over my face. I do really love a good blurring primer though. Like I, I have all my primers right here in front of me. The Versali blurring primer, the obviously the Clarins SOS primer go-to. And while the Cover Effects one isn't blurring in any way, I wish it was, that'd be great. It does work really well, especially with the next product, which is the foundation, which is my go-to also conceal um, it's by Pure, their four-in-one Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation and Concealer. It has a little pump here. You pump out the product. You probably heard of this. This is the 100 Shades Foundation. And then when you unscrew the top right here, it has a little doe foot applicator and you can use that to apply the concealer. And I always use a wet sponge for the gripping primer because, again, it's gripping and I feel like using a brush, it just like creates these like weird sticky patches. And I always start towards the outside of the face and then work my way in. So I'm using less product towards the center of my face, which I know is counterintuitive. I feel like everyone starts near the center of their face and works out, but I feel like then I get too much product near the front and then I'll have like weird patches near the back that I can't see that don't have any product on them. And then we're gonna throw a little bit underneath the eyes too. And the great thing is that everything blends together. You don't have to worry about like matching your concealer to your foundation because it's all in one. Such gorgeous coverage. I love it. Now step one of blush because one blush is not enough for me. This is by Flower Beauty. This is their blush balm in the shade Nectar. And it's just like a color blush drop. It looks like this. And this is like the perfect flush for the skin and I put this on because A, it's a cream formula, so it's best to put that on before you put on any powders. A, it's a, it's a cream product, so I wanna put it on before anyway, but I also like to give any of my liquid products a second to dry down more before I add on any powders. I'm trying to minimize the amount of powder that I'm putting on my skin, so if I can just use a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of powder underneath the eyes, then I'm happy. And I will build this up too, if I can. And I'm always adding more blush as I go. I find that blush tends to just sort of fade naturally over time for me. So I'm constantly needing to 
add more. So now while that dries down a little bit before I add on the powder blush, I'm gonna go into bronzer. And honestly, I have not tried a ton of bronzers recently that have overthrown for me my butter bronzer. Maybe that's just me. Creature of habit. I like the OG. I use my big fluffy It Cosmetics brush and I'll just take it and apply it all over the perimeter of the face, right underneath the uh, cheekbones a bit, the jawline, depending on how dark my foundation is. Sometimes we'll throw in a neck bronze. For blush, one that I've been really loving and it's a recent new favorite of mine is the collaboration between Catrice and Iman and it is their blush quad. And I just like, I'll kind of dab in all of them. I think for today, Day, I might kind of stick to these two, but I really like this like orangey tone. It looks a little scary, at least for me and my skin tone. I was like, oh no, but mixing, oh, it's beautiful. This may feel like a lot of blush right now. Give it a moment though. It always dries down a lot for me and fades. And then at this point is when I'll usually use my powders. And I've been enjoying, this is one by Jouer. It is their Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. This one is fairly new, I wanna say in the last year. The Elizabeth Arden Blurring Powder, you guys know. OG, love that one. One if I want a little bit more coverage that is much more recent. It's the Makeup Forever. This is their Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. Oh, this is so good, so good. If you detest powder foundations and haven't used them in a while, try this one, you will be surprised. I don't want extra coverage today, so I think we're gonna go in with a little bit of the Jouer today. And this one I like underneath the eyes because again, it has that hydrating element to it, so I'm not getting super cakey or powdery underneath the eyes. And I'll start right where all of my like pores tend to create the crater like effect and then work my way up. See, it's just like a really nice soft focus effect. And then I'll also set around like smile lines around the nose, anywhere that I would crease the center of the forehead. I love sometimes just sitting down and using the products that I use the most often as fun as it is trying out new products. And I love that. This is also super fun. Just sharing with you guys the products I like constantly love because I'm always getting that as a question too like do you still love this product do you use it do you enjoy it like what are you using all the time and so this is a nice way of addressing a lot of those comments and showing you guys what I really enjoy and then I think I want to take a moment right now just to kind of fix up like the under eye situation so I'm gonna take a little bit of the elf palette I'm gonna take saucy this one down here and I'm just going to blend out a little, create a nice smoky effect. I love adding a lot of powder underneath the eye, like a lot of brown shadow. I just think it creates such a beautiful dramatic look without being too dramatic or too heavy either. And it feels weird sometimes like when you're applying it cause you're like, oh, that feels like it's too far down. This is gonna look crazy. And then I'm always really happy with it. And then going in, mascara it up under there. And for highlight, I mean, no, no one's surprised. Clearly I'm using the one that I created. <laughs> Mixing clutch and tea today. I'm just doing a really light touch to begin with. Get out of there, bro hair. Then lace and clutch. I'll stick right at the highest point that I really want to highlight. I've been really enjoying using zipper mixed with lace in the inner corner of the eyes. If you guys have not tried that yet, highly recommend it. It's so pretty. And of course, Gotta highlight the inner corner here. Make that nice and glowy. Oh, I poked myself in the eye. Don't move your head when you're doing that, Rachel. And then for lips, I'm either super glossy and I love the new volumizing lip glosses that are from Hourglass. Oh, especially like the super neutral shades. Like this is Sublime. There's another one that's a little bit more peachy tone. That's in my, it's in my purse right now. Also really good. They're very pigmented, very, very thick, but in that nice, kind of non-sticky tacky way, just very glossy and beautiful. I also have been really enjoying taking the Maybelline Superstay ink crayons. Um, so one that I like that's more like an everyday neutral shade is, I don't even know what this is called. Hello, there it is, <laughs> lead the way. Or I'll take something more bold like a red. This is Own Your Empire. This one over here is more of a red or like an orangey tone and it's laugh louder. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of take the shade and rub it on my finger. Just nothing crazy, <laughs> just like that. And I'll apply it like a stain and it stays put guys 
for so long. It looks so good. If you want like a custom color, you can even mix some shades together. So you could take a more neutral shade if you want and mix it with a darker shade and then like create a color that's like something you would enjoy more. I just realized I'm using my middle finger to apply it. Good job, Rachel. Like how pretty is that, right? And it doesn't move. It, it just stays like that. To set everything on my face, there are two, two different setting sprays that I just keep reaching for. I just keep gravitating towards these, can't stop. One <laughs> fell on the floor. It is the Tarte Stay Spray. This is their setting spray. It just works really, really well for me. I love the scent of it. It's kind of a very light cucumbery scent, nothing too overpowering or crazy. And then I'll usually take a bit of the Catrice Illuminating Prime and Fine. This is one that I have started really using more recently, but really loving it. This is the Dewy Glow one. And so I will start and I'll spray this all over and then I'll take like a ch -ch 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 of this one. You like this sound effects by the way. And then I'll just like fan my face or I'll use a little little mini fan and it's the perfect amount of setting everything down and more of like a very natural finish and a little pop of the glow. This one has such a fine mist by the way. Love that. Fan her down. And here it is, the result, the products that I just keep reaching for that I absolutely love all on my face at once. It's a great day. Check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any recently. Lots of new stuff going up every single Thursday, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome week, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.